So today I want to take a look at three different switch pullers and see how they stack up against each other. The first switch puller that I have is one that came with a cheap keyboard I bought years back, when I had thought that Cherry MX Blues were the pinnacle of mechanical keyboard switches. The next switch puller is the one made by Rama, and the final switch puller is a new one that is made by Gateron. The cheap switch puller is made from a thin piece of metal. It isn't very rigid, so you can bend it easily if it gets out of shape. Although it's not the same, the switch puller is quite similar to the one that Drop provides when you buy one of their keyboards, which has a terrible reputation for scratching up plates. You can search on Reddit and find countless posts and pictures where people tried pulling switches, using the provided one and scuffing up their keyboard. You technically won't see the marks when you have your keycaps on, but it still sucks. Furthermore, because the switch puller is thin and short, it's kind of hard to use, and it sometimes slips out of position when I'm pressing in. The Rama switch puller is probably one of the most popular switch pullers around, as pretty much every keyboard streamer owns one. There are a lot of vendors who actually sell this switch puller, but most of the listings say that it is out of stock. I bought mine from Monster Gear, a vendor in Korea, because I was planning on buying a couple things from them, so I wanted to make the most out of shipping. I've used this switch puller a couple times and every time it's been super easy to use. It pulls out the switches easily and does not scratch the plate. However, the metal that makes up the switch puller is very malleable, and there are little X's cut out near the tip of the switch puller which does not help with build integrity. That's why when you see the switch puller on stream, it tends to be bent out of shape. The Rama switch puller isn't too expensive overall, and you could usually find it for around $8 USD. But considering what it actually is, I can see why people feel like it's overpriced and don't want to buy it. For those who feel like the Rama switch puller isn't worth it, there's a switch puller on Amazon that everyone seems to get, which appears to be a generic IC tweezer. Most people have a good experience with it, but I've seen reviews where people have ended up scratching up their plates while using the switch puller or messing up the tabs where you press in to pull out the switch. It definitely could be user error, but it's something that I think is good to point out. There was a Reddit post that I found where someone modded the switch puller to be shorter so that it doesn't scratch up their plate. If you want to see what they did and read up on the process, I've included a link to the post below. Novel Key sells their own switch puller that you can also check out. There isn't much info out there on how it performs, but because Novel Keys is one of the biggest vendors for keyboards out there, I feel like they do know what they're doing when releasing a switch puller. It goes for $6, which is definitely cheaper than the Rama switch puller, but it is more expensive than the Amazon one. Since the Amazon ones are just technically IC tweezers, you can probably find it for even cheaper if you search online or maybe at a local hardware store. The last switch puller is from Gateron, which seems to be a pretty new product on the market. I first saw it on Keychron, but I ended up not getting it because I didn't want to pay $18 of shipping for a $20 switch puller. After I bought the Rama switch puller from Monster Gear, I originally did not plan on getting another puller because it would be kind of a waste of money. I didn't really see any other listing of this puller at the time other than the Keychron one, so I wrote it off. But then, I began searching for alpaca switches and that's when I stumbled upon the vendor Prime Keyboards and saw that they had the Gateron switch puller in their inventory. It was selling for $25 but the shipping was much more reasonable, so I decided to get it in order to check it out. In order to use the switch puller, first press the switch on top to pop out the two prongs on the bottom of the puller. These are the prongs that will be used to push in the tabs on the switch. Next, you want to align the switch puller so it matches up with the switch housing. Press down, then pull straight up, and the switch puller should grab the switch right out of the hot swap socket, assuming you aligned it properly. Press the top switch to eject it from the switch puller. It does come out with some force, so be careful with that. Once you're done using the switch puller, simply press down flat so that the prongs go back into the switch puller. It was kind of weird to use it at first, but I quickly got used to the switch puller. It's pretty fun to use and also hassle-free. However, there are issues with the switch puller. If your keyboard case has issues with clearance, such as my NK65, it can be a little difficult to pull out the switches. One of my switches became slightly damaged after repeated attempts to pull it out using the Gateron switch puller. Because the Rama switch puller is much smaller, it was easier to use in small clearance areas on my keyboard. So, looking at these three switch pullers, I would recommend that you buy the Rama switch puller. The Gateron switch puller is also a good option, but it comes at a price. Once you get used to using it, it's pretty fun and easy to use, but does have issues with keyboards that might have tight clearance between the case and the switch location. If you have one of the cheap switch pullers, or the drop one, 
I would definitely recommend that you leave it alone and buy one of these other switch pullers instead.